Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today, 12 F-250 with that many thousand miles with, yes, my favorite engine. Hey, check me out. All right, this daddy came in for this lovely message on in the instrument cluster. Oh no, I got a call, said he needed some help. And lo and behold, we have this very popular DTC that states reductant quality performance. So one might ask themselves, what do you do when you get this code? Um, there are a couple of things, and one of them is to go to the PCED to find out the next diagnostic step. And briefly, what happens when it sets is the PCM monitors the SCR system performance using the NOC sensor and other inputs. And when that conversion drops, it sets and triggers the vehicle to go into D-rate. Um, it says right here what the possible causes are. Poor reductant quality, EGR cooler core restriction. You, you guys watched an EGR cooler replacement video I made a couple of weeks ago and uh, it is indicating that you could have some damaged SCR components or a biased knock sensor. So starting with RD1, it asks you if any other DTCs are present and we do not have any other DTCs, we just have P207F. So from RD1, we're going to now go to pinpoint test RK. I believe that's for the death injector. Yep. Okay, so let's see what it says it wants us to do for this. Um, it's going to ask us some more questions. Do we have P27F? Yes, we do. So all others go to RK7. Uh, it wants us to do the DEF injector cleaning routine. Um, this truck has already had this done prior to me filming this wonderful piece. So we know we're going to go to... Yes, RD4, oh, left mouse button. Check the reductant, we are, are over 28% and uh, we're at 31% uh, using that refractometer you guys saw in that one video. Um, we're gonna drive the vehicle at a steady state speed and go to RD6. We don't have any sources of contamination uh, all the fluids and everything are full and nothing has been ran through to clean this truck. We're going to hit no for P27F. Oh, RD7. And then now it wants us to check the flow through the EGR cooler. It wants us to start the engine. Okay. Let's let it run here for a sec. Look at the different PIDs it wants us to control. This is uh, our temperature right here that we're most concerned about, our EGR temp one. So let's get this thing hot. Okay, we're at 200 degrees, okay, okay. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna active command my RPM uh, to 1500 like it wants. Turn that puppy on. Today. There we go. Okay, so 1500. Now it wants us to put our EGR at 60. And watch, does our EGR temp go down when we start flowing through the cooler? So let's watch that temp here. I'm gonna open the cooler. It wants it at 60 gonna start running kind of rough at 60. Eh. Not running too rough. I forgot one crucial thing here. I forgot to put the BGT at zero. BGT at 60, sorry. My fault. So now it's gonna load up 
Let's turn our EGR back off. Okay. See our temp increase? I'm gonna turn the EGR back on to 60. Watch that temp go down. Temp's definitely going down. Almost 30 degrees here. Trucks, trucks idling, trucks idling rough. You can see it shake. But what we're doing is we're verifying that the cooler doesn't have any restriction. Turn that boy off. And see that temp go back on. So let's see what the next question is that it's going to ask us. Does the EGR T11 decrease by more than 55 degrees? I'm going to go ahead and hit yes. Um, next step here, it wants us to carry out a visual inspection. So uh, let's do that, huh? All right, I'm at the back of the DPF. This oxygen sensor looking sensor is our diesel NOx sensor. And right behind it, you can see the module uh, up in the frame rail right there um, 7 8 uh, wrench or O2 sensor socket is what I use to remove that um, right now it looks looks intact the module looks all right let's go see what the next step pinpoint test step is all right concern present no everything looks good wants us to check the voltage to the NOx module. Now mind you, we only have this reductant quality DTC. We didn't have any other circuit related DTC. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say yes, we have greater than 10 volts. Again, check the NOx module circuits for an open um, from the module to the PCM. Again, we didn't have any communication codes or any circuit codes, so again, I'm going to say that our, resist our resistances are less than 5 ohms. Mind you, if you're a novice and do not understand, I want you to go through the pinpoint test so that you can learn, but um, as you get a little more seasoned, you're more accustomed to know how the PCM is going to... Um, set DTCs when certain faults happen, what would happen if you had a, uh, a break in this wire, you'd get this DTC. I use all that info that I've learned to help help myself diagnose these trucks um, uh, in a uh, more robust way for myself, but uh, not necessarily for everybody else. So currently right here, hitting yes for DTCs P27F. It says install new NOx sensor. That's what I'm gonna recommend to this customer. Uh, additionally, replacing the NOx module when these trucks first came out and we were replacing the NOx modules or sensors, uh, Ford Engineering had us leave them connected and send them both uh, uh, together back for warranty uh, evaluation. Um, I like to keep with the freshness of the two together um, so what I will additionally recommend is replacing that module I like to replace them in a pair um, accordingly uh, with the newer trucks that have two Knox modules let me take this key out I'm sorry guys um, the vehicles with two the vehicles with two NOx modules, uh, it would be following suit as well. Uh, you'd be getting two NOx modules and two NOx sensors. Um, and then obviously throughout this whole repair, the most important thing is to make sure that your depth quality is above that 28% as I noted in my last uh, couple of videos. So right now, let's see if this customer wants it. Uh, I might have to order up some parts and then we'll uh, get the new parts on. And yes, we are gonna have to exit this truck from D-Rate. Uh, once again. Oh, wow, look at that. Okay, we got a bit of a problem. We've raised the truck up and I want to go remove that rear knock sensor and man, 
it pulled out the bung uh, in the rear. So, I have already went and cleaned this up. I'm gonna weld a new one on here. We got one coming from uh, our part supplier. <clears throat> Hopefully I'll be able to get this going today. Uh, have to just center that bung on here like this and then just tack it all the way around and I might have to clean up that a little more. Um, and then screw the new sensor in. But while I'm waiting, I'm gonna go ahead and pop my new module on and get the welder over here so that I can repair. All right, I'm all set up here. Got everything hooked up, ready to go. Got my light ready. Got my new knock module in. Had to do a little bit of a repair here. Had some rotted out fasteners, so I had to uh, pop those out, put a new gasket in it, new hardware, and then went and cleaned that up some more. Got a little more clean area. So I'm just literally waiting for, uh... oh, yeah, and I did take the, uh, the drive shaft out to get a little more in the room with my body. But uh, yeah, still waiting. All right, guys, we're back on the P207F DTC. And I finally got my O2 sensor, well, knock sensor, O2 sensor bong. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna weld that boy right on so I can get the sensor back on, get this truck off my hoist, man. So I don't think I'm gonna show the welding. I'll just show you guys uh, my welding skills afterwards, I guess. I guess. Okay, here it is. I know I'm gonna get some flack from you guys. I know it doesn't look pretty, but it's on there. Um, doesn't look like I have any gaps. Practicing my skills every time. Uh, I mean, that one looks good, but that one doesn't. Um, Self-taught, never took a welding class, just slowly tacking and trying to get better each time I do it. But uh, if anybody's in the area and wants to give PPT a welding class, uh, let me know in the comment section. New sensor, new module already installed. I've already got this thing out of uh, D-Ray. Um, let me know guys if anybody has ever had to do their Knox sensor and module replacement for their P207F DTC. Make sure to like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys all next Friday. See ya. Thanks for watching.